Hey guys, Sock here from Socky e Tech, and in today's video, we got some amazing things lined up for you. So what's happening is Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus, the unlocked version in the United States, finally got the Samsung One UI 2.0 beta with Android 10. And in this video, we're gonna look at all the new things that you get with the One UI 2.0. So let's dive in and get started. And of course, we really do have some amazing things in here. All right. Now, before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online, also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Now, real quick, let me show you guys that I'm in fact running the One UI uh, 2.0. So let's go to the settings. Let's go all the way down, go to the software update, all right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap on the last update, which was done on November 13th, 2009. And what I have here is the uh, One UI 2 upgrade with Android 10. Now real quick, let me go back out here, go to bot phone, uh, software information, and here we have the One UI version, and of course we have Android 10. So that's what we have. And what I'm gonna do here in this video is when I go back here, uh, as you can see, we have a whole list of updates over here. You can pause and look at these, but I'm going to go over each one of these one by one so you can get a full understanding of what's happening. Now, the very first thing I want to talk about is very simple. When you pinch the screen, uh, first and foremost, the icons at the bottom now are cleaner and they have a new look. And when you go into the wallpapers, it actually gives you a brand new screen to pick your wallpaper. The first thing you get is you get the preview of the actual lock screen, what's on the lock screen and what's on the home screen. It even tells you at the bottom what kind of wallpaper you have. So on the lock screen, I have a video wallpaper, so that's what is shown at the bottom corner over here. And if you want to go and change the wallpapers, you just go into the regular uh, wallpaper screen. So that's change number one. Change number two has to do with your dark mode. So dark mode has been enhanced. What's happening is if I go to the dark mode right now, let me go to the settings, go into the display, and then let me just take a look at this wallpaper in the background. It's nice and bright. Now when I enable the dark mode, what's gonna happen is not only does the menu go darker, when you go back out, even the wallpaper dark darkens up a bit, including the widgets. As you can see, the Google widget just darkened. So you're basically gonna get overall enhanced image, text, and color adjustments when you turn on and off the dark slash night mode. Okay, so that's the night mode. Let's go to the settings. Uh, the, 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 the wallpaper background now darkens along with the actual dark mode. That's number one. Nothing else has changed with the dark mode. Let's move on. And then we have something really amazing. If you go to the display uh, right over here in the settings, and if you scroll down and if you go to the edge screen, you tap on it, when you go into edge lighting right over here, uh, you can go to the effects and now we have so many more effects. So let me just pick a more pronounced color, okay? Uh, yellow looks much better. So as you can see, I have all these different various effects. Uh, the bubble effect, the multicolor effect, the heart effect. Again, you see hearts at the bottom right over here, uh, at the top I mean. Well, you got the fireworks effect, amazing, all right? When you get a text message, any notification, you get to see all these cool effects. Let's look at the eclipse, all right? Fantastic. We got the uh, echo effect, that's great as well. And if I swipe over, I got the spotlight effect, all right? And then if you tap on glow and glitter, these are things we already have. Uh, but as you can see, you can pick colors and make uh, modifications. This, uh, this is existing, but the effects that we have here, like the heart and the fireworks, are brand new. So those are the new edge lighting effects for your notifications. What we do also have is we have new smoother animations. So let me launch a couple apps. Watch the way it comes up and watch the way it goes down. It's nice and slow. It goes up nice and slow and smooth and comes down real nice and smooth. Let's do it to a couple applications so you can see it, exactly what I'm talking about. Let's cancel that. Let's switch this over. So let's go back inside. And when I launch the actual uh, folders, again, it launches nice, nice and cool. And when I tap on this button here to change the color, I get the preview of the folder on the top uh, before I change the color. So it will look exactly what it's gonna look like on the outside. So that's great. So overall, nice and smooth animations. 
Uh, the scrolling hasn't changed much, but when I bring up the multitasking pane, there's also a bouncing effect. So as you can see, there's a little bouncing effect on the sides, which we don't have right now on the One UI of the first generation. Now the other thing that we have is we have brand new full screen gestures. So again, if I go to my settings and if I go into my display and if I go into my navigation bar, if I tap on this one, uh, over here we have the full screen gestures. So when I click on the full screen gestures, now we have the brand new look with only one line at the bottom. Now when I go to more options, you still have that old styling which is right here. Uh, it gives you three buttons at the bottom, so you can go up, you can bring the multitasking pane from here, you can go back inside, but with this one, I can actually go in here and I only get one button at the bottom. It can take me home just like this. Also, if I wanna bring it up, I just go like that. I swipe up, wait, and boom, it comes right up. And if I wanna go back in any menu or any app, I simply swipe from right to left and it goes back, okay? So those are the new uh, full screen gestures that you find on Android 10. And of course, you can also uh, adjust the back gesture sensitivity. So if you make it super sensitive, it goes back very easy. Uh, if you make it less sensitive, you have to put some work into it for it to go back. All right, so that's the new full screen gestures. Uh, nothing new here beyond that. You can also block the gestures with the S Pen. So if you are using your S Pen and you're drawing, you don't want uh, the screen to go back home if you accidentally swipe from bottom to top with the actual S Pen. So that's fantastic, all right? Now what else do we have? Now we also have a brand new camera interface which is fantastic. So if I launch the camera, right now let's look at the rear camera. What we can do here is we can swipe back and forth, all right? which is fine, but at the bottom, you only get the most used options. I have the live focus video, I've got live focus, I've got photo, and I've got video. If I wanna access any other setting, I go to more, and it gives you more options to actually go into those particular options. And of course, you can edit this uh, layout. You can tap on edit, and you can lay out what you want to be in this tray, or what you want to be outside of the tray. So even this uh, interaction here is customizable. But again, they wanna make sure you are able to clean up your camera and have things you need right here. But if you wanna go even more, boom, it's on the corner. Now one more thing we have with the camera, which is fantastic, is if you go to photos, and if I zoom in and zoom out, at the bottom I've got shortcuts. So I got the 0.5x zoom, okay? Or I can just go to two times optical zoom, or I can just boom, go to 10, at 10 times zoom. So those are some new camera effects that are fantastic as well. And then we also have the new device care. So if I go to the settings and if I scroll down again, if I go to device care, it's got a brand new modernized look. We have the uh, same old functionality, but a brand new look. If I go to the battery, boom, that's what we have. We can also uh, tap on app power management. It, it expands to give us more options. I even have an extra setting here for wireless power share that allows me to limit the battery. So if the battery goes below 30%, the wireless power share is not gonna work and that's gonna save me more battery. And again, if I go to the storage, uh, looks different, but the same functionality, I can clean it by tapping this button. Take a look at the new smooth, cool animations. So that's fantastic. Same with the memory right over here. We've got the RAM management and I can clean this and it's gonna look a little bit different with the same functionality, but again, we like to see new stuff, new animations, new graphics. So that's the device care. Uh, again, one more thing with this one is, uh, if you go in here, if you tap on the bulb icon over here, uh, you get some extra options in here that you can play with once you get this. It gives you suggestions and it gives you notifications of what I think, uh, what it thinks you should do to optimize your smartphone. What we have now, is a, is a new focus mode. So if I pull this thing down, what you're gonna see over here is you're gonna see the new focus mode that just popped up. And basically you can access this from here or you can go to the settings, you can go into the uh, digital well-being and parental controls. You, so you click on it, it's gonna take you to digital well-being. Uh, just tap it, it's gonna be right there. You're gonna be right here. And then over here, what we have is we have the focus mode. This is designed to avoid distractions from your phone and keep your life in focus. So if I wanted some work time, I would tap on the work time and it says 
Focus mode helps you avoid distractions from your phone and keep your files in focus. All apps will be blocked in the focus mode except for the apps that you choose to allow. So you can click start and that's gonna walk you through the process. Once you set up uh, this whole focus mode, you can also do customization here uh, to make custom focus modes. Uh, you can go back here and simply enable it by tapping this, no problem. So that's the new focus mode. Now one more really cool thing, if I go to my files application, which is the file manager for your Samsung device, you tap on this one and basically what you have here is if you tap on this button here, you now have option to access the trash. So if I tap on trash, uh, first I wanna turn it on and then basically if you delete anything from your phone, it's gonna go to the trash and from here you can recover it. So let me see if I have any files here. So I do have a file, let me just delete this. Uh, I'm gonna click on delete, move to trash and then what happens is when I go to the trash, it's gonna show up right there from here, I can in fact uh, recover it. Uh, let's see, just like that, I can tap on restore, goes back to where it belongs, all right? So that is fantastic as well. We also have a new way to access the one-handed mode. So if I go to the one-handed mode over here under advanced settings, right here, uh, let's scroll down a little bit, it's gonna show up right here. Normally, it sits in motions and gestures, but now, it actually came to one-handed mode right over here. So what's, once we are in here, uh, let's just activate this, and they made it super easy to activate the one-handed mode. So previously, you would have to triple tap the home button, now you just double tap it, and it activates the one-handed mode. Or if you go with the gesture mode, you can use the gesture mode here. All you do is put your finger here and swipe it down, and that's gonna activate the one-handed mode. Let me just try to get a, get a handle of that. So it's very easy to activate just like that, okay? So previously, again, you would have to do some weird thing from the corner. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it did not. Now it's super easy just like that, okay? Or like I said, the button is even better, double tap, boom, you've got the one-handed mode and you can use the entire phone with one finger. So that's fantastic. When you're done, tap on the black area, boom goes right back out. All right, so these are some of the new features that we have on the One UI 2.0 for the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, the Note 10 Plus, the S10, the S10 Plus. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. Guys, for now, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.